hello welcome and welcome back to slowly we go for another video i'm going to be sharing with you why i believe we are going to need a lot of slow living simple living folk in our future <music> have come across slow living, simple living as some kind of aesthetically pleasing, visually inspiring trend or fad, might be why you've ended up here. <laughs> but at its very core, slow and simple living is to go against trends and fads. It is a very grounded, traditional way of living and to some degrees it's a way in which we lived for a long period of time before the industrial revolution that's when things started picking up the pace for the everyday life until you get to you know the past 10 years we are just going at such a pace that is not sustainable it's not sustainable for us as humans it's not sustainable for our well-being it's not sustainable for our planet so you know a lot of people are opting out they're choosing to slow down they're choosing to simplify to go back to the way things were and it's good it's a good thing and i don't believe this is a trend i believe it's here to stay and I am here with this channel to help hold your hand, to guide you off of that treadmill and to show you that, you know, slow living can be for and is achievable for everybody, including families and parents where it often feels that extra bit fast. I have a more specific video on how to slow down for mamas, for parents, so go check out that if you feel more called to that video. So let's dive right in. The first point why I believe we need more slow, simple living folk in the future is for the sustainability of us and for the planet. When you choose to slow down your everyday life, it does go across all aspects. So let's say food you're going to be buying more locally grown food you're going to be eating more seasonally because you're more in tune with the seasons and the world that you're living in because you're actually slowing down to take a breath you are going to have created the space and time and focus within your home in which meal times and cooking is not just a convenience or a chore it's something to be enjoyed and it's very intentional and so you're creating that space to eat better as well eat more home cooked foods yes it takes a little bit more time but moving away from the convenience you'll find so find so much joy in the creating of meals and little mealtime rituals and the coming together of a family to eat those meals. You're going to be more sustainable with the clothes that you wear. So you're going to be shopping less, you're going to be buying better quality things, you're going to be buying second hand. You're not going to be contributing to fast fashion, you're going to be contributing to slow fashion. That might be buying things that are made in this country and not imported. That might be buying secondhand from a charity shop. That might be buying on secondhand clothing sites. Fast fashion has such a bad impact on the planet, it is unreal. So slowing down in that aspect of your life is a good choice guys you're going to be slowing down with your overall consumption of things you are going to choose to mend things rather than discarding by new discard by new or just buy new buy new buy new you we have something called a mend it bowl which i recommend to every family it also teaches children that you you know we set our values and to teach children from a young age that we are not a throwaway society that we will mend things in our home that we will try and make things last that that's important this is one main reason why we need people to slow down for our future we need to act more sustainably and this comes from the home first this comes from the home to set an example for our children for our children to learn 
not to fall into the same traps that we have fallen into in our generation. The second major point why I believe we need more people to slow down for the future of our children is when you slow down, you allow yourself the thinking space, you quiet the background noise of advertisements and TVs, you start to make more conscious and intentional choices. You start to be the dictator of your life, the writer of your story, rather than living so passively. And you might not think that you are living passively, but often you're just getting swept along this treadmill of consumerism and your life is kind of set out of, okay, school, job, spend all your money, retire. That might sound really depressing and negative and I don't mean for it to, but when you slow down, you start seeing the beauty and the joy in the everyday and you can benefit from slow living and simple living no matter what your lifestyle is. For working people, for studying people, for stay at home mums, for retired people, slowing down is only gonna benefit you because you're gonna see the joy and the beauty in the everyday. This is gonna impact your thoughts, then your decisions and then your actions. So how you manifest into this world comes from the pace in which you're living. And if you are slowed down, you're able to make more conscious choices. And therefore we end up manifesting a much better world around us. And my hope for the future is that we can collectively manifest a great world and we heal the world. Gosh, that sounds really whimsical. <laughs> my third reason why I believe we need more slow living folk on this planet right now and moving forward for a major crisis that is happening worldwide and only accelerating by the day is mental health. It seems like we are being completely crippled by poor mental health and it is a side effect of the world that we're living in. It is, it's a, it's a side effect of this fast paced society and do you know what? You can opt out of it and by opting out of it and practicing this slow living lifestyle, you will gradually see improvements in your mental health. One of the main reasons, I've done another video on this, so you can see much more reasons why a slow living lifestyle is gonna benefit your mental health, but predominantly it's because you are allowing yourself to have the mental space, the time, I'm not talking about meditating and talking about bringing your focus back to gratitude bringing your focus back to seeing the joy in simple things where you were blinded by the blur of life you now see the joy in the tiniest and simplest of things and all this and collectively these little moments of joy and gratitude add up to a very healthy mental well-being it's a gradual process and i honestly believe that everybody can benefit mentally by slowing down even just the tiniest bit just taking a step back the world is crazy guys it's so crazy right now no wonder we're having this mental health crisis and we need to look after each other and we need to support people that are opting out, that wanna get rid of social media, that want to get rid of the phones, that, that maybe say no every now and again to invitations. Don't stop inviting them. Respect people that are slowing down. I think we hold in such high regard this fast paced life, you know. You know, that person's always doing something, they're always everywhere. They, they've done so much, they've achieved so much. It's almost like we've put this on a pedestal, but I think it's time we say no. I think it's time we held in high regard a healthy mind. The last thing I'm gonna touch on, why I believe we need more slow and simple living folk in the future, is you have to start thinking about the next generation. A problem with this fast-paced life, this consumer-based life, this very egocentric based life is that we don't think ahead we only think of ourselves we don't think of us as a collective on this planet we don't think of the next generation to come what society are we creating we create that as families it starts in the household it starts in the way we raise our children 
what that child gets from us in terms of morals and outlook on the world in those young years at home is what is going to create that next society. These are the people, these are going to be the adults. We need these children to know that it's okay to hold space for yourself. We need these children to know that materialism is not the focus, that is not the goal. We need to teach this next generation that nature is important and as much time should be spent out there as it should in the home. We need to teach the next generation that eating and looking after our bodies in a more sustainable way is important. I could go on, but what I'm trying to get at is these slow living families right now that are really trying to do their bit are showing that this next generation is going to follow on. It's not about a small amount of people doing all these things right, it's about everybody just doing a little bit and I honestly believe that by everybody slowing down a little bit you're going to be more sustainable as a family. You're going to be more conscious and intentional with your actions, which is going to only benefit your children. You're going to raise the mental well-being in your household and therefore it's going to pass on to the next generation. That to me sounds like something most families would want moving forward into the future. So I hope you take away something from this video. I hope you have a great day. I hope you slow down. And I hope to see you in the next video. <laughs> see you later, guys. <laughs>